In Creo Parametric, you can use edge splits in the freestyle feature in order to subdivide the shape for more control when transforming and scaling. Let's take a look at how to do that. Here I am in an empty part model. Let me start off my freestyle feature. And then usually the first thing that you will do, like I showed in the previous video, is go to the shapes drop down to choose your primitive. I usually start off with the sphere shape. I'll click on it and we have it started out. Let me turn off my plane display. I'm going to deselect everything. And right now, if you take a look in the ribbon, the edge split command is currently grayed out. That's because you need to select an edge first before you can use the command. So I will pick this horizontal edge in the model. You can see that we now have the edge split command. Be aware that if you choose to have one split, well, you'll end up with two portions. If you do two splits, you'll have three portions. Three splits will give you four separate portions. And of course, four splits will give you five portions. Let's start off by doing, I'm going to start with two splits. So I'm going to have three different sections so I can manipulate them individually. And so now that I've split that edge in there, I can grab, say, this surface if I want to transform it or I can grab this face if I want to transform it. You can see that it is only affecting the third section that we have over on the side. Let me then select some of the other ones. Let me, actually, with this one, let's select this top edge, or I could select the bottom edge. It doesn't matter which edge that you select. And I'm going to choose on this face. Let's do three splits on that one. And so now it is split that face up even more. Maybe I want to do the same thing on the vertical edge. Let's go to the vertical edge. And in this case here, let's do two splits on that one. And so that gives me additional faces that I can manipulate. I'm using the control key to select those two. And now I can grab those two different faces and then pull them out. And let me move over to the side. By the way, you can do a box select. Let me see if I can get these faces over there. Yep, grabbed all those different faces. Now I can grab these in order to move them around. And this is where you really start getting into being able to refine your shape into what you want. Let me make sure I'm getting this face and this face over here and maybe rotate it. So now you can see how we're actually starting to get some definition into what our shape is going to look like. And another thing to point out is that you can split an edge that's already been split. So let's say I want more control over the geometry in the back section of the model. Let me select this edge and then I can go to the split and I can choose that I want to put, oh, let's make it simple, just one more split inside of here so that we've got more refinement over the mesh that we have for manipulating the model. So that's how you use the edge split command in order to subdivide your shape. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.